And we have team weather coverage for you tonight with the threat of tornadoes, hail and high winds. We're asking how power companies across the upstate are preparing for this storm, which could force homes and businesses to lose power. Outages always inconvenient, of course, but we know for some you rely on power for life saving equipment. Fox Carolina Zach Prolutsky live in Greenville County tonight. He's been reaching out to those power companies to find out what they're doing to prepare. Yeah, Tori, well, the good news right now, just looking at some of these power outage maps, not a whole lot of activity, but obviously that could change in the next 24 hours or so. Now, I did reach out to the three major power companies in the upstate, Duke Energy, Lawrence, Lawrence Electric Co-op, and Blue Ridge Electric Co-op. Now, all three say that they are monitoring this severe weather threat, and they're also prepping their equipment and supplies in case they're needed and widespread power outages occur. Yesenia Rodriguez knows how much damage a severe storm can do. She says last year her home in Greenville was close to the path of a tornado that ripped through, causing her to lose power for almost two days. I don't want to say traumatized, but it, it opened my eyes to just how bad a tornado can be. When Rodriguez hears the forecast for Thursday, she says she wants to be prepared. Rush to go to the store or even beforehand. Learning from that, I just want to be um, prepared with canned food and everything else. For power companies in the upstate Duke Energy, Lawrence Electric Co-op, and Blue Ridge Electric, the most concerning part of this forecast is those high winds and tornado potential. The winds are strong enough, they can uh, uproot trees as wet as the ground is right now and tear down power lines and break a lot of poles. We asked those companies how they're getting ready ahead of the storm besides preparing their equipment and watching the forecast. We have a sophisticated GIS mapping system that you know, really helps us find vulnerabilities in our system that we can fix before we have extreme weather. And then also our right-of-way maintenance. So keeping the right-of-way clear of limbs and trees uh, helps a lot in preventing outages. The three companies that I talked to also say it's important that if you do lose power, report it to your power company. That way they know every place that needs repairs. Up tonight at 11, we'll dive more into the plans these power companies have in place in case some of these widespread power outages do occur, plus some tips for you at home. For now, reporting live in Greenville County, Zach Prelutsky, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.